I'm Saturday hauling for you guys today and I'm going to start off with a repurchase. I got another one of the replica diffusers in By the Fireplace, which is a fragrance that I've repurchased uh, probably three or four times thus far. And I'm actually almost out of the bottle that I have now. And I saw on Sephora that they're selling refills, but they're sold out. So I'll just wait till the refill comes back in stock. But um, I purchased one of these back in April during the sale because they're like a hundred bucks. So they're quite expensive which most diffusers are but they last such a long time so I got another one because I just love how it makes my office smell which is where the first one that I bought was and it lasts such a long time so I want to say that when I hold the bottle up to the light because it's quite opaque it looks like there's at least this much solution still in there and again I bought that one back in April so I wanted to get another one um, to put in my living room I bought a floating shelf that I could put up kind of high so the cats can't tip it over which is something they would do right off the bat if it was anywhere else so I put it on the little shelf and the living room kitchen area is much bigger than the office area so I wasn't like smelling it as much so I took the one that I originally purchased and put it in my bathroom and then I put this fresh one back in my office and the one in my bathroom every single time that I take a shower with the heat and the um, steam from the shower just really makes it smell so good in the bathroom so I really like it there as well um, but again for the living room area it was just too big of an area for me to get as much smell as I would in a smaller room so it actually worked out because I like it in the bathroom as well and again I put the fresh one inside of my office and this is basically it's like smoky burnt marshmallows is the best way that I could describe this it's such a lovely fragrance again I've purchased at least three or four of these so far so this is a 6.2 fluid ounce 185 milliliter bottle and this guy here is made in France is what it says. So it's this guy right here. And then the bottle is so lovely looking. It's an opaque white and it just looks nice wherever you set it. So this is the one that's currently in my office. And I'm actually gonna put a floating shelf in there too. Um, it's been sitting on my desk and I've got like these white crush curtains and the curtain got up against the little reeds or whatever and kind of stained my curtain. <laughs> so I just kind of want to get it off my desk and kind of out of the way because I'm always nervous too that I might tip it over. I haven't in that many months, but you never know. <laughs> I also purchased two products from Alpine Beauty. Um, they are now carried at Sephora, but they originally were sending me some PR and I loved the cleanser so much. I bought another one of those. And again, <laughs> with that empties video that I'm going to film, you will see a bottle of this in there. So this is the creamy bubbling cleanser with fruit enzymes and AHAs. It's a four fluid ounce bottle. And these guys here are made in the USA. It's a brand that's out of Jackson Hole, Wyoming. And if you've ever been to that area of the United States, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's such a cool place. Um, Alpine is, I think, a half hour away from Jackson Hole. I actually went to a clinic, a Sherman James clinic there, um, some years back and it's again just an absolutely beautiful area of the country and this brand is so nice they've sent me two of their masks I got I think the huckleberry with the little uh, pearls in it um, that helps with exfoliation and then the creamy one and I've used up the one with the little pearls and I plan to repurchase that but I want to use up the one that doesn't have the little exfoliated beads in there and I just love it for a gentle exfoliation I use it like one to two times a week to maximum I don't like to go over that but it's such a nice nice uh, exfoliating mask so the cleanser comes in a glass bottle and it smells absolutely divine it's really gentle it cleans really well um, when I use it if I use it in the morning I'll mix some of the eminence dermafoliant in with it and then at nighttime I'll use like a something to remove my makeup a cleansing balm of sorts and then I'll follow up with uh, this guy right here and I just again love this product I've used up one of them and then also because I've enjoyed the other products from the brand so much, I decided to try one of their newer ones, I think, is the Ghostberry Super Peptide and Ghostberry Barrier Repair Cream. It's a 1.7 fluid ounce, 50 milliliter jar. It says accepted National Eczema Association on the little uh, sticker on the corner there. Um, but this has got such amazing reviews on the Sephora website. And I haven't kind of repurchased the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. You guys have no, know how much I love that product. Um, it was sold out during the Sephora sale because I was going to actually grab one of those. But then too, I do have to use like quite a bit of that moisturizer at night. And I was like, there's got to be something that can hydrate my skin with not like putting so much on top. So again, another reason why I wanted to try this and this kind of like really fits the bill granted it hasn't been like 
as cold as it normally has here in North Dakota. Like yesterday it was pushing 45, which is crazy. <laughs> um, but with the wind chill, I think we got down to maybe negative 10 because there's been some windy days, but it gets a lot worse. So January, I hope is a smooth sailor. Hard telling when you're in North Dakota though. So anyway, this, you don't need a whole ton of it and it is so, so soothing on the skin. And it says you can use it AM and PM. Um, this guy here really doesn't have a fragrance, but it's a nice thick cream. And again, it feels just lovely on the skin. I've been using it for about a week and you can see I, I haven't really dipped into it a whole ton. So I think it's going to last me quite a bit. Um, so, so far, really enjoying this product. It makes me want to try like everything from the brand <laughs> because I've enjoyed all of the products that I've tried from the brand thus far. And I have got sensitive, acne prone, dry skin, aging skin too. So really loving these products from Alpine Beauty. Again, this one is the Super Peptide and Ghostberry Barrier Repair Cream cream right there. And then I also picked up this little trio of Too Faced Pillow Balms, uh, Warm and Spicy. It's part of their holiday collection. This was like 50% off. Um, and I never tried the Pillow Balm, but I've heard really good things about it. So there were two shades for sure that I knew I could like wear like any time throughout the day. And then there was a shade in there that was a little bit darker, but I was like, I like to use a lip oily lip kind of product like this after I finish my face makeup I'll put it on while I'm doing my eye makeup to kind of give my lips some extra hydration and I'll use this darker one for that and it fits the bill great. This does have a slight kind of tingling sensation but it's not overbearing and it's a very smooth feeling product on the lips. So I've been pretty happy with these so far. So again this is the limited edition lip set. Uh, two new limited edition shades in here. You've got the original holiday wine and spiced cider and these guys here it says are made in Canada and each one of them has got 0.14 fluid ounces of product so you've got the original kind of clear one right here which is super easy to throw on and then you've got the holiday wine which has got the most pigmentation to it I need to wipe that off <laughs> so that's the holiday wine one but it's not like too overly pigmented or anything like that for something if you wanted to put it over something either I don't think for a nude lip wear like myself <laughs> and then you've also got spice cider which is got some really pretty sparkles in it and it's kind of a neutral shade and these do have like a spicy kind of a scent to them but it's pleasant. It's not overbearing or anything like that. And I can't say that uh, the other like shades in the range have that same scent because it might be kind of limited to this little set for like the holidays. I'm not 100% sure because again, these are the only ones that I've tried, but I've seen these like 50% off at a lot of retailers. And then Ulta's got a 20% off coupon, I think that goes through the 24th as well. So you could get another 20% off. So this is the Too Faced Pillow Balm Warm and Spicy. Uh, little set right there and again I've been enjoying that guy and then I got in my order from Glamlight Cosmetics they were doing a 45% off sale so I picked up some pieces from the Garfield collection that I really wanted and I was so excited when I seen that the Rick and Morty highlighting trio came back into stock and I was able to get it super discounted so I got two backups <laughs> I got two backups of the Rick and Morty highlighter trio. There's a total of 0.35 ounces of product or 10 grams, but that's across three shades. So there's not a super ton of product in each shade if you divide it up. So I've been loving, I've been loving this palette. You'll see how big of dips I've gotten here. And Glamlight products are made in China. This palette is made in China as well. The packaging is just a cardboard with a magnetic closure. The magic for me is the actual products. I love these. I've been having a hard time putting it down. Um, I have another Glam Light highlighter on today that I also bought a backup of that I'll show you in a minute because it matched kind of my look a little bit better. Um, it's got more green in it where there isn't really a greeny kind of one in here. And you would think like this blue would be, this bluish shade would be like unwearable, more unwearable, but it's so pretty. They have got like translucent bases with the prettiest sparkle. If you do not like a blinding, super shiny kind of in your face highlight, this one would not be for you. But it's so like glazy and again, that translucent base, it just, they're just stunning. I absolutely love this particular form formula from Glamlight. And again, I've been wearing this a ton. I, I'm pretty certain I'm nearing hitting pan on this shade. Probably the other ones too, but I love it. So I was super happy to get a really good sale. They were back in stock and 
I picked up two backups of it. <laughs> so that's the Rick and Morty highlighter trio. I was on the website yesterday too and this was still in stock. So again, if you like super shiny blinding highlighters, this is beautiful. I love it. The other one that I got a backup of that also came back into stock is the Scooby-Doo highlighter, which again, I got a good sale on all of this stuff. This one's got 0.21 ounces of product or 12 grams and there's two shades. So each one would be six grams a piece. So here's the backup. And this is actually the highlighter that I've got on my cheeks today is the one on the bottom with the green undertone. The one on the top kind of flips a purpley pink. These two are absolutely um, stunning products. Similar formulation to to the Rick and Morty. Not all of Glam Light's um, highlighters have this formulation, but these two do, and it's stunning. So uh, the green has got a little bit more flaky sparkles, I think, than the pink, but they're still just stunning. Again, I don't know how many times I've said that by now, but I really, obviously, <laughs> really like these uh, products here from Glam Light. So this is the Scooby-Doo one. This one's also still in stock, and this green which is on the bottom is what I have on today. There was some really pretty embossing, well, pretty, it's a bat. I think one of them was <laughs> inside the pan um, as well, but I've, I've used it a lot. So that one there is the Scooby-Doo Duo Highlighter Palette right there. And then from the Garfield collection, I got the Face Palette. So this is the Glam Light X Garfield for the Love of Lasagna Face Palette. It's got three shades, two blushes, and a highlighter. A total of 0.48 ounces of product or 13.5 grams. So it's got a pretty decent amount of product. So again, this is Garfield. It's very, very cute. Um, also made in China. This is the box packaging. And here is the actual packaging. There's a little bit of a raised, kind of uh, puffed out little Garfield on the front. And there's Odie in the little window there. And here are your two blushes, which are both matte. They're both pigmented, but they blend out really well. And then you've got your highlighter in the center. Um, the highlighter is similar in terms of texture compared to the other highlighters that I showed you, but it's a little bit more fine, I would say. Not quite as large of like sparkles as some of the other palettes, but it's still got that really silky feeling to it. Um, this one here has a, a stronger undercast than I like for the top of my cheekbones. So I've actually been using the highlighter in conjunction with the eyeshadow palette because that's kind of lacking a brighter shade for like highlighting. So I've got a little bit of this guy on the inner portion of the lid today and also underneath the brow. And I've got this kind of bright orange blush on my cheeks. And I kind of went in a little heavy, but I I like it. <laughs> I've really been enjoying a strong blush cheek. So let's go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Very finely milled, very pigmented blushes. And that, that highlighter is really stunning, but again, there's just a bit more of an undercast on that guy. I think you can kind of maybe blend it a little bit. So you can kind of see if I turn my wrist there, there's just a little bit of a deeper kind of undertone to that. I can make it work, but it's not my favorite. I like it a little bit brighter for the top of my cheeks, but it works great as an eyeshadow. So that one there is the Glam Light and Garfield uh, face palette. I also got the eyeshadow palette. So this is the Glam Light X Garfield 12 shade palette. This one's got a total of 13 and a half grams, 0.48 ounces of product across 12 shades. And the box packaging sort of mimics the actual packaging. Very cute again. And then here is your shadow palette. This is the eyeshadow palette that I have got on my eyes today in conjunction with that highlighter from the face palette. There is a mirror in there with Garfield as well. And then here are your 12 shades. I have been loving this eyeshadow palette. The shimmers are that um, Glam Light formula that I really, really love. It was, I think, their Friday the 13th palette. That was a different formula. They were like pressed hard and felt a little bit drier um, or a little bit more stiff. Um, they were still really pretty once you got them on, but they weren't the same kind of formula as what's in here or some of the Glam Light palettes that I've been used to. Um, this one's great. The mattes are pigmented. They blend out really well. I do get a little bit of staining from like these deep rich kind of reddish shades so I do want to make mention of that um, but let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches I really really like this one so pretty I've got this orange on the lid and with the face palette like I just adore the looks I love the orange 
um, the bright orange. Makes me think of summer, which is quite a ways away. <laughs> and then these next ones. And this bottom row. This blue is a little rogue, but it does add a little bit of interest when I do use it. And we'll put these guys. Glam Light did a really good job with this collection. So that one there is the Glam Light and Garfield 12 pan right there. And again, that's what's on my eyes today. I also wanted to hit that free shipping threshold, so I threw in two pairs of eyelashes. Um, Code Orange and the Michaela collection are ones you guys have seen me buy a lot of. They are the lashes that I have got on today. I cut about a third off the outside and they are one of my absolute favorite lashes. So I got one of those and then I also was intrigued by the Garfield set. So I got the Arlene lashes. I also clipped off about a third on these as well. And these are really nice too. Um, I really like them. I don't like them quite as much as the Code Orange. Again, those are like my favorites, but these are really pretty too. So these are trimmed down and they look really nice. I'm half tempted to grab a couple more pairs, but I went on the website and they weren't having the sale anymore. <laughs> but they usually run pretty good sales, pretty often actually, Glam Light does. So maybe when they do that, I'll grab a couple more pairs. But these are the Arlene lashes, again, from the Garfield collection. I'd also been eyeing this Violet Voss Take Flight eyeshadow palette for quite a while. I like butterflies. I think that they're really pretty and the whole aesthetic of this palette was also really pretty. Um, and it went on sale. I think it was 50% off or close to it. And then I also um, got it with that last Sephora 20% off coupon. So I got it on a really good sale and the quality of the palette is super nice. So this is a 20 color eyeshadow palette. There's 0.92 ounces of product or 26.2 grams. That's a lot of product <laughs> that you're getting in here. And this guy here is made in China, I believe. It says made in the PRC on the box packaging. And then here is the actual packaging. It is a cardboard with a magnetic closure, I like the little detail around. And then you've also got a mirror in there. And here are your shades. Um, this is a one and done for me. I get really pretty looks out of here. Um, did you see the little detail of butterflies on the mirror? I'm kind of, I'm scared to kind of push this all the way back. Let me stretch it a little bit. I'm scared I'm going to crack the binding. It's quite tight. Um, there we go. But you've got these two shades in the center. Um, this winged one, which has got like this green bluish kind of pinkish duochrome aspect to it and then you've got this it looks black but there's just a hint of what appears to be brown or maybe it's just like a soft black um, but the colors in here are super super saturated they're really pretty the formula is easy to work with and then these shimmer shades have got just these beautiful sparkles in them so let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches this is which I think I mentioned is a one and done for me and I really really like this palette Again, very easy to work with formula. Pigmented, they blend out really well. And these guys. I got it in such a good sale too. There's just a lot, like a lot of good sales going on right now. And then this guy, and then these ones. I love this color, it's really beautiful. And we'll go to this pink. I feel like you can kind of make it as bright or as neutral as you want, so it's quite versatile in that way. And then into these blues. Super pretty. And 
and then these last ones here. Like how pretty, right? It is such a pretty, nice quality palette from Violet Voss. Very, very nice. Super glad that I picked this guy up. Again, this is the Take Flight palette. Um, again, from Violet Voss. It's beautiful. I also picked up two palettes that I had been eyeing from Blend Bunny Cosmetics for a while. Their Noctilucent Highlighter palette is also one of my favorites. I've hit Pan on five shades in that palette. So I'm kicking myself when they had their Black Friday sale that I that I didn't pick up a backup of that as well. It is my favorite like travel highlighter palette. Um, I will, I'm going to though, next time I have a sale. <laughs> but this first palette is the Forget Me Not Versatile Eye and Face Palette. I do feel like the formulation, especially the matte formulation of Blend Bunny is pretty intense. Um, it's very pigmented so I don't tend to like want to use these on the face because of that reason, um, but it does say eye and face palette. And I do get along with the Blend Bunny eyeshadow formula really well. So this guy here has got a massive amount of product. Um, Blend Bunny cosmetics are also made in China. So you have got a total of 50 grams or 1.76 ounces of product across 16 shades. So there are 12 mattes and four shimmers. It's a neutral palette, but it, it is also a really amazing pairing palette because of the shades that are in here. Um, my cardboard is kind of warping already, which I, I don't, I don't like that when cardboard uh, packaging warps. It kind of, it just cheapens it a little bit for me. That is nothing to take away from the actual product, however. So this one actually opens more like a book style. There's a mirror in there as well. And then you have got all your shades. So these are massive pans, especially in comparison to other Blend Bunny Cosmetics palettes. So these ones here are your mattes up here and they're primarily neutral leaning cool. You've got like just a hair of warm, but more leaning towards again, the cool tone side. And then you've got these four really pretty metallic shimmers on the bottom. These I would use as highlights. Pigmented highlights don't bother me, <laughs> obviously. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give you guys some swatches here. Yeah, their matte formula is silky smooth. It's like sticking your hand into a bag of flour. I'm probably gonna drop this palette on my head. And I've used this by itself, love the looks, and I really like, again, pairing um, other shadows with it because it has got such a nice, like, uh, neutral uh, color story to it. And then these guys. So those are all your matte shadows right there. And then this bottom row. All pretty icy. Let me set that down there. No, oh, I got a little flake of dark in there, but so those are the swatches right there of the Forget Me Not palette from Blend Bunny. And the other palette is the Sickly Sweet 30 Spoiled Rotten Shades, <laughs> which doesn't sound so good for the formula when it's called, they're called Spoiled Rotten, <laughs> but it's just for the sake of the theming, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> this is also an eye and face palette is what they're calling it. This one here, I kind of think that they throw face palette in because some of these, I'm guessing, probably aren't eye safe. Yeah, and it says on the box packaging, there's asterisks by the shades and it says not for use around the eyes. So a lot of companies do that while they'll throw um, face palette in with like something that is overall actually an eyeshadow palette because some of the shades are not deemed safe for around the eyes which typically is staining and I've also gotten staining with this palette so 
that would be why. Otherwise I don't get like irritation or anything, but I do get that pigment staining on my lids with some of the shades, typically purples and reds. Um, so anyway, this one here has got a total of 33 grams or point, no, 1.16 ounces of product. This one is in smaller pans, but there's quite a few more shades in this one. So this one is also a cardboard packaging with a magnetic closure. And I love the color story in here. There's a giant mirror in there as well, which I don't really ever use the mirrors in palettes. I'm trying to find the best way to hold this without like sticking my finger inside the shades. But look at this color story. It's kind of all over the place in terms of placement, but there's something about that that I like. It like gets my little creative juices with color combinations. Like the looks come out a little bit more unique in my opinion. So I, I don't mind that it's like that. Um, this is a easily one and done palette for me. There's some nice rich mattes for the crease. There's some pretty blend out shades and some beautiful shimmers in there. There are only six shimmers in here, but they're again, they're all really pretty. There's these two, this purple, these guys, and this green. The rest of them are all mattes. And this formula, especially the shimmer formula, does remind me of the shimmer formula that I get along with really well from Glamlight. Um, the mattes kind of do too. Um, I would say that the difference being that these are they're a little bit smoother, a little bit silkier, or creamy feeling, kind of more finely milled. Um, but that kind of doesn't take away from um, the ease of use that I also find with the Glam Light palette. These ones might blend just blend bunny, blend a little bit easier than the Glam Light, but I typically don't have problems with those. But for whatever reason, um, they kind of, I don't know, they remind me of each other, especially like their shimmer shades. But I love this palette. It's beautiful. I also find it pretty unique as well. It actually reminds me of an Easter egg. <laughs> and these guys. So many pigmented pretty pastels. See if I can't fit all of these all the way down my arm. And then these ones. Pastels that look like that, so saturated and also so smooth at the same time, they're not that easy to come by. And these guys. I don't think I'm going to fit them all. <laughs> Try to get them as close together as possible, but... These guys. them like right here. And then this bottom row. Look how pretty those are. And then the last two. <laughs> My hand like is kind of starting to cramp. How funny. I was trimming horses yesterday too, so that's probably part of it, but very pretty. I really, really like the um color story on this one. Again, that is the Blend Bunny Sickly Sweet palette right there. It does kind of look like a spring launch, doesn't it? And that's everything that I got in that I purchased this week. I got in some amazing PR packages. This first one is from ColourPop. Um, they just sent over some um, products from the range. So it says, uh, to us, from, to us, from us to you, special delivery. 
from uh, ColourPop. Happy holidays. We wanted to thank you for such an amazing year together. We're so happy you're part of the ColourPop fam. To spread some holiday cheer, we're sending over some of our iconic fan faves plus everyday essentials so you can stay cozy and be ready for the new year. We hope you enjoy this holiday season with your loved ones and us. ColourPop. Love that. So there was a cap that said ColourPop in there, which I do wear caps all summer long. And there was also this really cute pair of socks, <laughs> which I'm probably gonna wear actually. I think I'll wear them on Christmas day. And then they sent the Going Coconuts eyeshadow palette, which I do have this already. And I showed this to my mom and she cannot wait to get it. This is one of their best selling best palettes. And it's just an amazing um, one and done neutral palette. It's really, really a good palette. It's understandable why it's like, one of their number one sellers. So mom's getting that one. And then they sent over their lippy pencil in BFF, which I really do like the ColourPop lippy pencils. I've actually got this liner. Um, I've got two of these in the BFF shade because it's such a good, easy, neutral liner to wear. Really, really good formula as well. Actually, the ColourPop lippy stick formula is one of my favorite lip liner formulas in general. It just, it wears really well, but it also wears off really nice, if that makes sense. And then there's also the Lux Lip Oil in Skinny Dip, which is a neutral. Again, I like to use lip oils throughout the day if they're like a neutral shade like this, or also when I'm putting on my makeup in the morning. So again, that one is Skinny Dip. I don't think I have this color, it's a good color. And then there's the Pressed Powder Blush in Flamingo, 0.21 ounces of product. It's a bright, vibrant pink, which is super trending at the moment. I think that I have this. Um, I'm gonna swatch it anyway, because if I do already have it, I'm just gonna give this to my mom. She likes a pink blush too. But I think this came out in a limited edition collection packaging, if I'm not mistaken, but it's a really pretty color. They recently uh, launched singles of their bronzers, highlighters, and blushes. I've seen like the little gondola at um, Ulta. And then there's also the Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ritz, which is such a pretty sparkly taupe shade. Like, also with kind of like that translucency style base. Build it up a little bit here. So just a really pretty super shock shade with some sparkles in it, like quite a few sparkles. I love the shine. So that one is uh, the super shock in Ritz right there. And a huge thank you to ColourPop for sending me over some of their favorite goodies. And then I got this PR package from Florasis, which is one of my favorite Chinese based indie brands. They sent me over their advent calendar, which is super fun. I did just kind of get it. So I backtracked with opening up the little windows and stuff. I believe it's still, um, for sale, but this everything that's in here is a really good pick of things from their entire range So if you're ever interested in the brand, but kind of didn't know what pieces to get I think this might be a good starter um, Spoiler alert if you don't want to know I'll read on the back what is inside you've got the twin lotus relief luminous glow highlighter It's a full size you got the botanical hydra soothe Balancing cleansing oil, which is beautiful. I've gone through two full sizes of those and then they also make the, them in these little packets that are super travel friendly. That's actually what I used when I went to Vegas and I just had these little single pods of the cleansing oil to remove my makeup. So that's 30 milliliters. There's a ginseng care lip balm, amazing lip balm. Pine Soot Smooth Eyeliner. I've never tried the eyeliners before, so that'll be interesting. Flawless Jade Shine Lipstick. Blooming Rouge Porcelain Lipstick, Eastern Romance Eyeshadow Palette. I actually pulled that so that I can swatch it for you guys because I don't have one of their four pans like that. Um, and then we've got the Flawless Jade Breathable Setting Powder, beautiful setting powder for the face. Cordyceps Care Makeup Remover Cream. That's a new one I have not tried. Based off the cleansing oil, I'm sure it's really great. The Ludai Floral Eyebrow Define powder pencil. Really good eyebrow pencil. I actually gave one because I had a couple of them. I gave one to my mom and it's her current favorite brow pencil. I haven't used a brow pencil in a while but it's an easy touch up one that where the more pressure you put on the pencil the kind of darker the product will go on type of a deal. So really nice in the packaging. The packaging in their eyebrow pencils is stunning. I've actually got one right here. Have you ever seen such a beautiful eyebrow pencil? <laughs> And then you've got the Blooming Rouge Ultra Smooth Satin Liquid Lipstick, which their liquid lipsticks are those dry down 
um, like bulletproofy type ones. They're the silicone based, really smooth blur style liquid lipstick. They're really comfortable on the lips. And then you have a feathering fan pressed powder brush and they're synthetic um, with very, very soft bristles like silk. That's how like soft they are. So this is the Let It Glam 2023 Advent Calendar. Um, right here, it's like magnetized. And then again, I pulled the palette so that I can show it to you guys. I got into quite a few of them. So this was actually in the 12th box and this is the palette in 02 of their Flowery Gaze eyeshadow palette. Um, again, I don't have any like this and it's super pretty as per usual with fluorasis. <laughs> uh, 4.5 grams. Again, this is 02. There's a little synthetic double-ended brush that's in there. And then you've just got four really easy to wear neutral shadows. This formula is very, very silky smooth and very soft. Like when I look at it and see the formula, it makes me think no makeup makeup look. If that helps. So again, that is their Fluorasis Flowery Gaze Eyeshadow Palette. And look at how pretty the packaging is. Massive, massive thank you to Fluorasis for sending me over their advent calendar. Um, they're fun. I don't do like a lot. I know a lot of people do the advent calendar thing like every year and stuff. And I just really never like went out of my way to purchase one. So it was actually really fun to have one to like open up all the little windows. <laughs> And then last but certainly not least, I got an NPR package from the House of Siage. You guys know how much I love their fragrances. And this one in particular, I was waiting on pins and needles to get because it is their Wednesday collaboration fragrance. So my box is all torn apart because I opened it, obviously. Um, but I wanted to show you guys how it kind of came. There's always a really pretty ribbon on their packaging. So this one comes in black because that's kind of Wednesday's color, if you will. That's the box packaging right there. And then inside you have got the Wednesday fragrance. The detail on the box itself is just the cutest. Um, how many of you guys have watched the Wednesday on Netflix? I binged it when it first came out and I loved it and I can't wait for the next season. I resonate with Wednesday a lot. <laughs> so then if you open it up right here you have got the fragrance and then there's an authenticity card that comes right here. And House of Siage has been having really, really good sales. And this one here has been off and on part of their sales too. So if you're interested in it, keep a watch on their website because I have seen it on sale as well. So here is the bottle. It, it's up there with my favorite House of Siage bottles that they have ever done. Um, if you look underneath the spider web, you've got the white, it's like opal. Underneath. I don't know if you've ever seen like like real opal, but it's got that iridescence of opal in there And then same with the other side just beautiful love the spider web You've got the Swarovski crystals around the edge and they're all in like different colors matching the rest of the bottle And then you got your French blown glass. It's like black fading into Purple on the bottom and then of course you've got a thing on the top It is again <laughs> I love, I love, love, love the bottle. And then when I smelled the fragrance, um, it wasn't one that I typically would think that I would like just gravitate towards, but there's something about when I first sprayed it that just, that makes sense to me when you, if you've watched the show. Cause it, if I was on set or if I was Wednesday in the show, this is what I would expect her to smell like. <laughs> it's a really, really nice fragrance. Let me read um, what it says on the House of Siage website. I typically, you guys know how I feel about gourmands. This one isn't a gourmand. It says the scent profile spicy, floral, and woody. The description says, step into the supernatural world of Wednesday where mystery and enchantment intertwine to create a fragrance like no other. Inspired by the wickedly enigmatic character from the hit series, Wednesday limited edition for fragrance invites you to embrace your individuality and revel in the beauty of darkness. Like the House of Siash did such a good job with the perfume with that description with the show. It's just really, really good. Um, Wednesday limited edition fragrance captures Wednesday's unique charisma and sardonic character in a one-of-a-kind captivating scent. As you wear this exceptional fragrance, dare to stand out, redefine the conventional ideals of beauty, and immerse yourself in the unique charm of darkness. So I'm going to read the notes because this one's hard for me to describe. I feel like I can describe a gourmand easier because I can like correlate it to food or something. 
<laughs> um, this one isn't in that same realm, so I'm gonna read the notes to you guys. Um, I, I can be a little bit finicky when it comes to like these dark, darker type of scents, but this one's very easy for me to wear. Three spritzes, I can spe smell it all day, and it's not overbearing or overpowering. I'm wearing it today. I've actually worn it every single day since, since I've gotten it, and I really, really like it. And I know that when I spritz it, like after the holidays, it's gonna remind me of this time in my life. <laughs> and House of Siage perfumes are concentrated with 25% perfume oil, which makes it so that you don't have to use as many sprays. You need less of the product and it lasts all day. I don't recall any of the House of Siage fragrances that I have that have like worn off throughout the day. I have been able to smell them all day long and I get compliments a lot when I wear the these fragrances. So the notes are top black pepper, Alemi resin and saffron. The heart is Turkish rose, rose centifolia, magnolia blossom, and the base is agarwood, Caribbean vetiver, uh, patchouli Indonesia. So like when I read that, it doesn't like resonate with me like some other like notes, but all together and then the way that it smells on me, I love it. I love, I love it. Again, they did a really good job um, like captivating a scent with the show. So again, it's how I expect Wednesday to smell. <laughs> and it is a two and a half fluid ounce bottle. Um, again, House of Siage is running really great sales. Um, I recently picked up a, another one of the Minnie Mouse fragrance, um, the original, but their um, 100 year anniversary one has gone on sale uh, as well. So when I open this, I do wanna be careful of the little hand. Um, I feel like I might use too much force and the hand might pop off and then I'd be like super sad, but it's like, I mean, it's not like weak or anything. It's like on there, but I just think, what if I like pulled too hard? <laughs> so I don't grab onto the hand when I open it, but underneath the cap, it also says Wednesday on there. Like it's so pretty. This cap is so pretty. If I were to ever use this fragrance up and in the interim, I don't end up getting a backup of it. I would keep the cap and put it on um, one of their permanent range fragrances that I love <laughs> because I just love it. I, there's no getting rid of it. <laughs> um, it actually, the bottles are so pretty. It, it, it's hard for me to want to use up any of them. I wish that I had like backups of like all of them. So I wouldn't hesitate to want to use it up if that makes any sense, but massive thank you to the house of Siage for sending this over. I just absolutely love it. And again, it's kind of taken me out of my fragrance realm, if you will. And I love that. And I love the scent as well. So Look at this bottle again, you guys. It is so pretty. I just love it. I just love it. And that is everything that I have for my haul today. I'm wishing all of you guys a very, very happy and safe holiday season. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen and I will see you guys later. Bye.